CTV News at 5 with Hudson Mack. Thank you for being here. We begin tonight at the University of Victoria where there's a buzz on the campus. Thousands of new and returning students are getting ready for their classes to start, but their first lesson this fall may be in labor relations. Unionized staff at UVic are getting ready as well, getting ready for a strike. CTV Stephen Andrew joins us now with our top story. Stephen. Hudson, the university says uh, that it is looking to cut its budget by about 4%, and the union says if those jobs are in moderate paying jobs, hundreds of workers will be laid off. Students begin classes at the University of Victoria in days. But when they return, they could find a number of UVic buildings behind picket lines. QP support workers are planning to walk out. The strike could affect services such as libraries, mail delivery, groundskeeping and childcare. We would likely keep up the job action on an intermittent uh, basis uh, as long as it takes to get an agreement. QP members at UVic have been without a contract for more than two years. The union says the main issue is job security, pointing to a worker with 19 years service who was laid off. The reality is when we had 25 layoffs this year, it was very difficult to place some of those individuals. The employer uh, would refuse to train anybody to help retain them. So we want to expand the options for appointment for placements and also to have an obligation on the employer to train somebody so they can do different work. But the university counters the current contract contains job security provisions. There's certainly provisions in place that would help people move from one position into another if they've been laid off as a result of, of uh, cuts at the university, budget reductions. Uh, but we can't get ourselves into a, a situation of taking taxpayer money and basically guaranteeing people that they'll have a job at the university no matter what. For the students on campus today, it's also a question of economics and security, security for their education. Everyone we spoke to says if there's picket lines up, they will cross them. I'm paying for my education, so yeah, I would, I would go to class. Probably. <laughs> um, yes, I think so. Absolutely. Got to go to class. The union says job action will be low-key at first in an attempt to get UVic back to the bargaining table. But QP warns it wants a deal by the end of September, in time for the university's 50th anniversary. Now, Hudson, the university, uh, the union, excuse me, says that this is primarily about job security. When it deals with that issue, it then will look at wage increases. But QP says any increase will most likely be tied to the concessions the government gives to BCGEU members. All right, we'll keep an eye on it, Stephen. Thank you. You're welcome. Stephen Andrew reporting.